स्टूडेंट्स क्लास नाइन स्टूडेंट्स लास्ट डे वी वे स्टडिंग अबाउट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ मिक्सचर एंड वी वे टॉकिंग स्पेशली अबाउट सॉल्यूशंस सो व्हाट आर सॉल्यूशंस वी हैव सीन एंड वी हैव सीन द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ सॉल्यूशन डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सॉल्यूशन वेयर सॉल्यूट्स एंड सॉल्वेंट्स इन डिफरेंट फॉर्म वेयर प्रेजेंट and different examples also we have uh, got the idea of solution like a uh, saturated solution unsaturated solution and then also uh, we have got the difference between mixture and solution especially when we talk about mixture then uh, mixture are mainly of two types homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture we have seen the meaning homogeneous where all the constituents all the parts of the mixture is in same phase and the example is actually true solution so true solution is actually homogeneous mixture but when we talk about heterogeneous mixture these are two types suspension and colloids so we will see what are colloids and what are suspension and why they are called heterogeneous mixture because here either in suspension or colloids the constituent parts are in two phase uh, one is uh, actually the dispersed medium and another is dispersed particles so what is difference between mainly a uh, true solution suspension and colloids is on the basis of the size of the particles this this can be distinguished these three can be distinguished can be distinguished on the basis of on the basis of size of the particles so when we talk about size of the particles so we have got the idea that in case of true solution the particle size must be less than 1 nanometer so the first case if the size of the particle are less than 1 nanometer 1 nanometer means 10 to the power minus 9 meter if the size of the particles are less than 1 nanometer then this is the example of this is the mixture known as solution or true solution but when we talk about the size of the particle of colloids but if size of the particles
are in the range of one nanometer to hundred nanometer then the heterogeneous mixture then the heterogeneous mixture is called colloids example blood milk smoke there are other examples also one thing is very important that if the size of the particle is more than 100 nanometer then the heterogeneous mixture is called suspension the size of the particle is more than 100 nanometer then the heterogeneous mixture the neutro heterogeneous mixture is called suspension so very difference little difference between suspension and colloids very little difference boundary line is 100 nano meter that is 100 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter is the border so when we talk about suspension then one thing we should know that suspension is a heterogeneous mixture where the the particles which is called dispersed particles in suspension dispersed particles settle down when it is left over some time so in suspension particles dispersed particles settle down but this is not the case of solution or colloids in colloids dispersed particle does not settle down even then it is left over much time in suspension what happens it can be filtered with the help of a 
इट कैन बी फिल्टर विद हेल्प ऑफ नॉर्मल फिल्टर्स but that is not the case in case of uh colloids or true solution true solution cannot be filtered out any time colloids also normally don't filter very easily by normal paper normal tissue paper a normal filter that is also main difference between suspension and colloid then one thing is very important we can give some examples then mud water chalk water or maybe when carbon dioxide gas is passed through when CO2 gas is passed through calcium hydroxide solution so what happens when carbon dioxide gas is passed through the calcium hydroxide solution or we can say lime water solution this is called lime water so we can see calcium hydroxide lime water plus carbon dioxide we are getting calcium carbonate and water so this calcium carbonate is actually if it allows to settle down then the particles of calcium carbonate is settle everywhere so here we can see that in case physics and chemistry both we have to study in detail for our coming examinations we have fairly or unit test or sunday test whatever so here very important part lime water when carbon dioxide passes through lime water then we are getting calcium carbonate what is actually calcium carbonate it is lime water milky lime water for some time milky lime water for some time but when it is allowed to settle calcium carbonate then the particles this uh, solute particles settle down at the bottom hence hence this lime water is and is a suspension is yeah. suspension that is very important so a suspension can be defined as a heterogeneous mixture in which the solid particles in which the solid particles are spread throughout 
the liquid without dissolving in the liquid and they settle as precipitate or suspension if it is left undisturbed. What are the properties of suspension? Actually suspension is always in two phase. First the solid particles which represent one phase and while the liquid in which the solid is suspended represents another phase. The particle size in suspension as earlier said is more than 100 nanometer. The particles in suspension can be seen the particles of suspension can be seen with the help of naked eye. That is very important. In suspension we can see the particles by naked eye. No filter papers or special filter papers are needed to settle for solute particles that is also the nature of now the particles in the suspension are unstable they settle down after some time under the influence of gravity while the suspension is kept undisturbed and that is also a precipitate. Suspension sometimes it is actually called precipitate also. In the same way as precipitate settles. Now we will see here uh, the lime water in two cases. When there is the particles, dispersed particles everywhere present in lime water. And in the second, after filtration, that is also important. Now, just see two diagrams. You see, you see the two diagrams. The first diagram, milky one, what you see is actually the suspension of calcium carbonate in water. That is the first diagram, first glass diagram. But in the second diagram what we see, those milky part is settled down, calcium carbonate is settled down at the bottom of the beaker. So that is very important and also one diagram more I am showing. That is here the size comparison. You can see size comparison. Suspension has got bigger size, biggest one. Colloidal solution, little bit less bigger. Both sides. And then solution true solution where the particle size is very less so all this we learn from diagram like paint paint is not a suspension because even then paints are left for a time then even then it does not settle so it is a case of suspense now so we have to study in detail the difference between solution colloidal 
colloids and suspensions. So next class we will study about uh, colloids mainly. Okay. Thank you students. Class 9.